we cleaned it as the loan process. But, well, we cleaned it kind of, but it's just, you know, still dirty because the only time it's really going to be clean is when you tear it all down and stuff and whatnot. But, tell me, tell me about this front tire here. It looks pretty new. I, because we put a lot of work into it that we didn't need to because we didn't really know what we were doing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? But if you look just here, it's a store. But you look, but you got to learn. But you look some, everywhere else. You learn some things. Yeah. Okay. That we're stupid. <laughs> um. But. All right, and you you got this rim painted and a tire on here. Yeah, we did. We got to take this stuff off still. Okay. But, and I, I, I don't know if we're going to paint this yet. I think I might as well since it's already off, since we get it off. Um, but, and then we don't have the seat yet. The seat's coming in Wednesday. Wednesday, the seat comes in. Okay. Yeah, I think. Okay. Wednesday or Tuesday. I'm not sure yet. I can't get this gear off. It was back in tractor. It was a tobacco tractor. Mm -hmm. All right. I still don't know what kind of condition the water jacket's in. There's some rust in there. I don't think it's too bad because it's just like flaky rust. It's not really rusted in there. So I have a feeling it wasn't that. It's not that bad. Okay. Um, you kind of pull it all out. I got to get another thing on there. But when I the plug. On, yeah, when I tear it all down, I put the pressure washer. Now, now you don't have a carburetor or no. a starter. Now, well, we would slap a 140 starter in my cover. Uh, yep, so, all whatever. right. Um, but the problem with that is that it only, you have to have that kind of, you can use an H starter, but the passage is not the same size. You're talking about carburetor? Yeah, carburetor. Um, and, but you have to have that series of carburetor mm -hmm. because how you adjust the throttle, it, it comes from out of, of the governor here. And goes into this, and that's what adjusts the throttle. Okay, now how did you get, come by this tractor? It was given to me. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Who gave it to you? Mr. Floyd Johnson. Mr. Floyd Johnson, and what does he do for a living? He's a farmer. He's well, a local, local farmer. I, 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 I guess that was an easy way to for him to have a tractor. So, so okay. I don't know what condition this is. Oh, that's your that's your steering. Yeah, this is the sector gears in here, and then yeah. there's a worm gear. Yeah. And uh, sometimes it's round, and when it's messed up, you just flip it around. You can just you flip, can flip it, it over. Mm -hmm. And then this, you want me to explain this to you. This is the hydraulic system. So normally here you have another linkage that you uh, pull up. Right, right. Or push down, and when it's pushed down, it's released. But it, they got a tape or a wire wrapped around it pulled up so it's pr putting pressure here constantly this is what puts pressure down and puts pressure so, up this so your hydraulics only work in one way right now no they work both ways oh it does oh i'm yeah. sorry this is the on and off valve basically okay. so if normally there's sometimes just this and it'll just pick up and not put down pressure this puts up pressure and down pressure mm -hmm. because these valves the um dealers would give out and stuff okay. So you can have up pressure and you can have down pressure. Okay. Uh, okay. And then it kind of sits in the middle. I don't know how it's set up right now. Um, well, I guess you'll find out once you get it running. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, so I notice you don't have any skin on the old girl right now. Uh, yeah, I'm painting it. Paint, working on that. Okay. okay. All right, getting new decals. Yeah, I got. Okay. Extensive. I don't know what this linkage does. I have to do some on research on that. that. I don't know what it does. I have a feeling it goes, I don't know, actually. It might just go, I don't have a clue. I'll have to look it up. Okay, this then. Is, this is the, um. Is there anything else you want your listeners to know? This is the uh, stage one. This is stage two. The easiest way to tell that. Stage one, stage two what? Yeah, uh, serious. The, had two stages, the earlies. I don't know what year. I don't know the years, but the early ones had the battery box under the um, uh, gas tank, like uh -huh. the regular end, and then they didn't have live hydraulics. But stage two had the um, had the uh, battery box battery box under the seat, and then they had live hydraulics. Coming and in. what years were the M's made? Uh, 
Super M's? Yeah. Uh, Super M's were made from um, uh, 52 to 54. 1952 to 54. This isn't. Yeah, we, that's just up there for photographic purposes. It's not <laughs> even hooked up yet. Photographic. Is that a word? Photographic? <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to say? It's Magneto, so it's, but it's not distributor. Okay. That's, oh, that's a new thing. That that's your Magneto to, cap. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a, it's kind of like, like a distributor. distributor. Mm -hmm. But this is the coil it's mounted to. The yeah. So okay. it's not too much different, except you know this kind of screws in. It's kind of more, but I, it's not. From what I've seen, it's not too much different from a distributor. So I should be able to figure it out. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time today, Mr. Orr. We appreciate that. And uh, by the way, do you have any other tractors around here? I noticed as we were sweeping through, there's another 140 over here. Yeah, there's 140 over and here. And what about that one? Can you tell us anything about that one? Um, that one runs better than this one, because <laughs> that one runs and this one doesn't. Yeah, so that which year is that one? That's the 59. We have a 75 over there, but that's the 59. That's a 1959 farm Yes. And there's a, a, you said there's another one, a 1975. Yeah, well, that's the second year they made them, and I think that's, yeah, that's the fourth to last year they made them over there. And okay. then there's 1969 Cub Cadet. A lot, of, lot of stuff around this shop here. Yeah, there's the it's 126. Old tobacco barn. Yeah, the 126 was actually the uh, uh, third least produced uh, Cub Cadet model. Having there. a little trouble with the 126 right now, aren't you? That they made, yeah. yeah. I, I, can't, I hate wiring. So it's a wiring issue. Because you can't. It's not like mechanics where you just know what And this is the 75. Yeah, this is the 75. And how does it run? Uh, the old one runs better because we just rebuilt the old one. The real old one yeah. just rebuilt, but this one runs? It, it was a partial. Is this a working tractor? Yes, they both okay. are. But okay. the other one, we and only did a partial rebuild. We didn't put like rings and stuff. Mm -hmm. We just put bearings in the upper and lower. So how, how, uh, what kind of work do you do with these tractors then? Uh, most of the time it's bush hogging or like brush hogging or uh, doing the roads with. Most of the time it's brush hogging or pulling trailers. Gardens? And garden. Yeah, but most of the time, even when we're not doing garden, we're brush hogging with okay. all the time. All right. Well, thank you for the tour. You got a pretty place out here. I see you've got a couple of apple trees out there just planted in. So. Yeah, they need some water. Yeah, it's kind of dry. All right. Well, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. One more look as we walk past the guided tour here of the barn. Four wheelers and a lot of stuff out here. Four wheelers, tractors, and everything in between. Okay. And then all the implements are in there. But then we gotta, we'll probably get some implements for it, like tillers, slow mowers, that kind of thing. Sure, sure. Once we're we... gonna put three point on it. We still gotta put a drop bar on it. You we? plan to put a three point conversion on it? Yeah, we're gonna, cause we, got, we still gotta get the draw bar, cause draw bar comes up over the rear axles. Okay. They come up over the rear axles and it comes down to the draw bar, which would be right about right back here. Mm hmm. And then, and then. You replace the back brackets that hold it onto the axle to, you know, for the cylinders and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're missing the fenders, too. Yeah, the fenders, I think this one was cut off. I, I Maybe broken off. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, they just unbolted that. I don't yeah. think they fool with that. Let's see. On this one. I see the mount there, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And normally, Steiner has a thing where you can come up and there's they come with, brackets and so you can extend them off because normally it's pretty tight when okay. you come in okay but and then the wheel lock that's rust welded <laughs> i got you okay that's nice. all right well thank you for your time and enjoy your rebuild